today we're going to be making a pomodor and these are pretty traditional little holiday items. You can use any type of citrus fruit as long as the peel is tight. So for this project we're going to be um, practicing on our orange but a lemon or a lime, either one of those is a good idea. Tangerines have a very loose peel and that's really difficult to work with. So I, I when you're choosing your fruit, make sure that you have a nice tight fruit. This is a barkeeper's tool, which is you can get at any of these these uh, shops that... That one came from Ikea. It's a bartender zester. A zester. But yep. any zester will do. Mm -hmm. And some ribbon for the end of your project. And here's the cloves. And uh, the cloves will come in a variety of forms. You'll find one without an end, and then you'll find one with a little tip right there, and that's the type that you're looking for for this project. So we'll start with the orange. And these little tools are pretty um, common in any kind of bartender shop. You lay it pretty flat, and you can make a little design in your orange, however you want your design to look. Some people are very artistic and they can make beautiful, beautiful designs. And I am not artistic, so I made a line. <laughs> so I'm going to make another line. You can imagine people with that like to doodle. How fun it would be to have little spirals or little flowers carved in here. Or there's just all kinds of fun stuff. And the trick really is just figuring out how to use this tool, which it took me a, a little bit of practice. I suggest getting a piece of fruit and just experimenting with it. And you can make um, circles. I don't know if I'm artistic enough to make a circle, but I know I have mastered the line. So I'm going to make a little star this way. That's, that's my complicated star. Yours might be more complicated. That's pretty cute. And you could just put a little nick up here. And nick down there. And you duplicate that pattern however you like throughout the entire thing. Uh, right now we're going to go to the cloves. So I picked out a really nice looking clove and you have a couple of um, design options with it. You could either just do a line of cloves or we have a little dot here. It's really simple to put it in there. have a couple of little designs. How fun. And as this fruit dries, then all of these cloves are going to stick a little closer together. When you dry it, make sure that you have it in a well aired space. Because if it, uh, you, some people even put theirs in a food dryer. But uh, if you decide that you want to stick it in a cupboard somewhere for a while when it's still a little bit, oops, that broke, that's okay. Um, when it's still a little bit wet, you're going to have mold on your hands and that isn't fun at all. So I could either replace that one or just say, meh, that's the artistic flair and move on. You could put this in the middle right there. But I think you get the idea of how fun this can be. And it's so simple. And kids make these a lot. And the smell of the cloves and then the, the orange or the lemon or the lime when you're done with it is splendid. And these are things that usually people will tie a little ribbon on. And then they put it on their tree or they hang it in their house as a decoration somewhere by a door. 
or you don't have to have a ribbon around it. You could just, after it's dry, you could just put it in a bowl with some of the other spices, and that would be nice. Okay. So this is the finished product before it gets dried, and you can see that we continue to line, and symmetry is part of the thing that makes this little project work so well. It's gonna take about a month to dry, if you are just dry, air drying it, put it somewhere, again, where there's something underneath it, um, some newspaper or uh, a cookie um, cooling rack, and then keep turning it every couple of days. This one is the, the lemon, has a pattern on it, and this one already has the, the bow around it. And you can imagine if you had this and then a uh, a lime that's done with it, how nice that will look. They'll get darker when they dry. And um, another thing to keep in mind is um, you can have your zest at the end of that and that can be used also to put in a cocktail or to um, put in um, some baked goods or to put in a little coffee or tea at the end. There's very little waste at the end of this and even your crumpled little pieces of clove that might have broken, that can go in a cider or something too. It's a very simple project that's really nice when it's done.